Good morning, good morning. This is Jacqueline Richardson. This is JJ Tom and Jackie Day Show, whatever y'all call me. <sighs> I'm here to tell y'all um, the demon um, has revealed its true colors and why it's moving through the people um, on my behalf. Um, the demon wants to destroy me. The demon wants me to sell his sell my soul. Okay. Um, with that being said, the demon has played on the weak, and all the people around me is weak. Okay. So they have ensured me um, that they will be moving real fast. They're gonna be moving real fast. And he's all, they already moving fast. That's why he's trying. That, that's why I'm under attack. Okay, I'm going to just say that. That's why I'm under attack. Because the demon is moving faster to try to destroy. So now the ancestors is going to move even faster. Um, all those that have done me wrong. When you had the choice to say no, you had the choice to say, no, demon, not me. You're not using my body to destroy. You're not doing that. You had a choice. He tried to attack me several times. Several times. And I told him no. No. I went to my God in faith. And God always showed me mercy. These demons are jealous that I am following the way of God, that I am God's work. I'm not perfect, but I'm God's work. The demon moves through people, you know. And based on what people say, and do. And see, this demon has a pattern of um, trying to attack me the same way each time. So I realize it's a cycle. The demon told me that I like things the hard way. Oh, because I won't steal from people or... I won't lay on my back and be a prostitute or I won't submit to drugs. I like it the hard way. That's no respect for God. None whatsoever. The demon tried to play on my mind. He thought he was winning. He thought I was getting weak. And every time he attacked me, I don't get weak. I get stronger. And see, so that's what he, he fails to realize. He fails to realize this, this, this spirit. That's running. That's running through these people's bodies. Doesn't realize. The more you attack me, the stronger I get. Until you submit. That's why God has created me to be who I am. Because he knew I had discipline. See, everyone is not a chosen one. And for everyone that has hurt me, everyone that I've asked for help to get out of this room and get away from these demons, the ancestors is moving. And they're moving like the flash of light. They, they allowed me to see that last night with my own two eyes. They are coming for each and every one of you. 
and they're going to be moving real fast. So I, I, I tell y'all, y'all better get right with God. Y'all better get right with God. My biggest fear, you know, people ask me why you don't drive an Uber. The fear of someone sitting behind me and me not knowing what they can do to me. People say, Jackie, why you carry a gun? Because I never know when I think that that demon is going to try to attack. But he knows that I'm always aware. Because I'm not weak. I don't drink. I don't use drugs. I allow myself, even when I'm angry, to calm down before I make a a rational decision. And if I feel like the 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 um decision that I made is 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 not right, I'm gonna pray. And the demon don't like that. He doesn't like it. It burns him. So he finds all kind of ways to attack. Yesterday, I want to tell you a story, but the ancestors are telling me to just leave it where it's at and just let y'all know that they coming. That I need not to worry no longer because they're coming. How do you hate someone that's a true Christian? How? A person that has God has taken through channels to learn unconditional love. How to teach the wicked and pull demons out of people and set them free. How do you hate someone like that? How? This is why the ancestors have to move fast. What they're going to do, I don't know. That's not my call. They're with God. But I do know they're about to move real fast. It's like they're coming through. It took me some time to try to understand why these people was attacking me so. Because I do everything by the book. I try to anyway. If I do something wrong, I make it right. That's what my God told me. You make it right. So you don't have to look behind your back in fear. I sleep good at night, every night. Because it's not one person I've done anything to. And if I did, I apologize. Sincerely. There's not one person on this earth that I've ever hurt on purpose. That's the way God trained me. See, my submission started back when I was 12. I was chosen then. And I was patient. The people think that because you're patient, that they can continue to keep doing the same thing over and over and over. 
But they forget. We're in God's timing. And when God says it's enough, it's enough. And he has reassured me. He's sending the ancestors. He's sending the angels. He's sending them. Because I need help. Because y'all all ignored. Because y'all wanted to play with the demons. Y'all want me to sell my soul. Just like everybody else. And I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I don't have to sell my soul to do the things that I've been doing. Can't y'all see that? Or did y'all miss that part? Did y'all miss that I eat every night? Did y'all miss that I always keep a roof over my head? Did y'all miss that? Did y'all miss how many times fire broke out in my house? And God didn't even let it spread. Did y'all miss that? I guess y'all did. I guess y'all did. I had somebody tell me the other day that things were getting scary. That's because the ancestors was under attack. Know the difference. You can't hurt people. That's godly. The moment God sees that his daughter is breaking down and willing to surrender to the devil. He's going to attack. I didn't come this far to fail now. I didn't come this far to submit to the devil. It's crazy how you can tell it's the same demon because people will say the same thing. Now, my mother always told me, and I think I said this many times, my mother always told me, if someone keeps telling you, you have a tail, you need to turn around and look. But if everybody's telling me something that can destroy my life, destroy my temple, That means it's the same demon going through all these same people. So I had to turn around and look. If I turn around now and become a prostitute, a drug addict, you telling me that you give me all these things that All these other people have. But they're sentenced to death. That was their choice. Not mine. So now... That I was faithful to my God. The ancestors came through to let me know. I 
like I said, I don't know what's going to happen because I'm not a psychic. I move within the Holy Spirit and I let the Holy Spirit and the ancestors guide me. I read the signs. I read the signs. I was driving down a road yesterday and a bird is only one type of bird that usually fly low. And that's the owl. It'll fly low and then go up because it likes the ground. I wasn't sure it was moving so fast that I couldn't see it. I couldn't see what it was. But I know it crossed my path. The ancestors are mad. They're mad because I do good work. I treat people good. I try to understand I try to respect, you know, others. I try to love even if you were working for the devil. To show on God's side, God is going to love you regardless. But you have to submit. You have to surrender. I tell people all the time, join us. But they feel they they feel like, you know, the way they doing things, the demonic way, is the right way. But they always unhappy. And you notice I woke up yesterday, I was in a dark spirit. And today I'm in a better spirit. You see how fast God moves? Because God says, and he's saying it through his ancestors and through the angels, you need not worry, daughter, because I'm about to move through real fast. They will pay for everything that they're doing to you. For everything that they took from you. For the love that wasn't given to you because you was presenting me. They wanted to slander me. Oh, she's dancing. She's she's this. She talks to different men. She's a whore. They needed that to be on my name. But it's not true. Is all what they made up. For the last two years, I had a mate. He didn't want to interact with the other mate because he was pushing and pushing and pushing after he didn't decide. After he decided he didn't want to be with me, and I moved on. He he just couldn't get it. He thought that he would have the chance to go out and have other relationships and just leave me, just leave me there. I moved on. He ran him away. So I submitted to him. I haven't been with no other man other than him for the last two years.
But according to the streets, I'm a whore. They need to. They need to put a scar on my name. They need to make me... Um, make it look like I sold my soul. I'm not selling my soul for no one. And demon, if you're listening, because you keep moving through people, I'm not selling my soul for no one, not even my children. And this demon needs to understand it. Because he keep moving through people. And I can feel the energy. And the thing about it is, it's a common energy that I felt before. So I know it's the same demon. It's not a different energy. I wasn't afraid. I was comfortable. But it provoked me the same way it always does. Because he know that's the only way that he can get me through anger. Because he knows I had an anger issue. A very bad anger issue. And I had to work on it. And I did. It took me many years to become the person that I am. Because the things that people have been doing to me. <laughs> I, wouldn't even, I don't even want to tell y'all. What I would have done. So this particular demon is trying to provoke me. And I had to let him know. It's not happening. I've gotten closer to God. I have more faith. That's the only thing you can attack me with. He tries to attack me with other things. But he can't. He can't, he can't, he can't make it happen. And he knows that I'm a model for God. He knows. And he knows that people picks up my energy. He knows. And he hates it. The moment that some of you people wake up, open up your eyes, and see that the devil only destroys, that's what he does. That's all he does. He destroys the mind, he destroys the body, and he destroys the soul. taking a bath. It's crazy how you know I felt the energy of the ancestors telling me, tell them. Tell them. That we get ready to move through. You know, I didn't ask why. I just did it. It's like I'm doing right now. I'm telling y'all. You know, I wish God would have uh, taught you people some things. You know, um, the way he's taught me. And this is why a lot of y'all don't understand me. I am 
a chosen one. And to relieve other people of their sins, God has appointed me. See, I didn't know what my calling was. I didn't know what my calling was. And I learned that last night. I learned it last night. To relieve others of their sins and bring them closer to him. You know, people say you're always helping people and then you put yourself in negative rooms and but you you know, some of these people you can relieve them of their sins and help them and then they will create more sins. Those are the ones that God wants. But after he gave you time, after time, after time, after time. That's when he has to take you. Without you submitting or surrendering. I told y'all, you know, y'all think it's a joke when I say it. I'm only scared of two things in this world. God and IRS. You know, a lot of people laugh when I say it, but it's not a joke, it's it's the truth. Because the way God moves, if you disobey after he has sent people in your life to help you, We must be obedient, people. We must be disciplined. We must follow the way of God. I know there's some youth that listen to my podcast, so I will say this to you. When you have them two voices in your head, it's God and the devil. And when you feel like the, the devil is overpowering you to make you believe that it's okay to do negative things because your parents taught you that, because that also plays a part of people, parents teaching them that it's okay to be negative and not care and hurt. Pray and tell the devil, tell the demon, not me, not me. You're not going to take me. No, you can't have me. And you continue to pray until it stops because it will. As soon as you start to pray. The moment you say amen, the devil is going to stop for that moment. But he's going to try to find another way to attack. And this is why I I believe the ancestors wanted me to talk to y'all. So I can tell you the process. Yeah. I need to tell y'all the process because they're not teaching y'all the process and we got to save the youth because the, the old people are already the, de- the, 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 the devil has already uh, tortured them and destroyed them so we can only bank on the youth because the youth are pure that's why I speak through them. You know, a lot of people don't understand it. The young is pure. They're baby angels. And God speaks through them. This is why we have to watch them.
and listen to what they say. Let me tell you something. Tell you this story real quick. I went up north. My daughter's son, of course, has three kids, and that's my grandson, even though I, I, I'd say that he's my son because I took care of him for 21 years. Um, but she needed to meet her grandkids because, of course, I've had more time with her grandkids than she has. Um, and I love them like my own. However, we picked up my my grandson, Junior. That would be Junior. God bless his little soul. Uh, I told y'all another story <laughs> um, the other day about the privacy part of things. Um, he said to me, Nah, nah. I want to see my daddy. I said, you want to go home? And he said, I want to see my daddy. I want to see my daddy. <laughs> it made me smile. Now, I mind you, his daddy wanted me to bring him with me to Charlotte. He kept telling me, I want to see my daddy. I want to see my daddy. I was trying to give him a little break. His daddy, a little break. However, I had to return him to his daddy. For whatever reason. Whatever that reason is, God decided that he needed to go back home with his daddy. Because maybe it's something in him that helps his father. And he needed him at home. I told him I said, no problem. I'm going to take you to see your daddy. So he, don't, he doesn't talk to nobody else but me. Because we have that relationship. So when he wants, when he's serious about something, you know, he'll bug out on everybody else and act out, you know. But with me, he physically talks to me. When he really needs something done. So you see how kids, how they can um, determine who is the one that, that's going to understand what they're trying to say or what they're trying to do. God works through the children. And most of the time, adults will uh, do negative things and expose them to negative things. Whether it be the parents or be the streets. Then their minds start to wonder. Should I, should I, should I? Those two voices in their head. And I believe the ancestors wanted me to tell them because it's time that we save them now. Because there's too many people as demons. And they think that the demonic way is the right way. They think it's okay to destroy their bodies, their temples, their mentals. They think it's okay. But it's not.
This is why we meditate. We meditate to get all the voices out of our head, you know. A lot of the kids kept saying this. There's too many voices. This one over here saying this. This one over here saying that. This one saying this. This was a... And you, and you meditate, you release all of that. All those voices talking to you, you release it. It's gone. And you get to start all over. That's why we meditate. To get rid of all the things that people have been throwing at us. That's how we get rid of it. We silence the mind. And let God work through our soul. Of course, I don't understand it. You know, I have people tell me, old people tell me, I can't meditate. I, I just can't get it. Reason why is because you love the voices. Some people love hearing the voices. Some people like the pain. But for those that don't, meditate and release it. It's called a reset. You know how a lot of stuff has reset button. You hit the button and reset everything. Even with the computers. You can take it back to factory default. Or recover it. You know. Go back a little bit and recover it. And start all over. Everything has a reset, including the mind. The reason why we need to reset is because if something is not going right and every time you get, you go through something, you're getting a negative impact from it, that means it's time to reset so you can see clearly because there's so many voices and so many things going on in your head that you can't see the reality of things. That's why some people sometimes need, they go isolate because they need to understand each and every voice. But sometimes it's not meant for you to understand. Just get rid of it and start all over again. Because your mind is going to hold what you need to do, what feels right. But then we always have those voices that's telling us, oh, no, that ain't right. Everybody wants to be right. Um, that ain't right. No, do it this way. Go this way. You got kids trying to fight suicide. Their mind telling them, the voice is telling them, kill yourself, kill yourself. And they don't know how to fight it. And the reason why they don't know how to fight it is because nobody ever taught them. And I believe that's why the ancestors told me, tell them. Because they need to know what to do. When you start to feel like you want to kill yourself, pray. On a podcast. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, as I was saying, the demons will prey on your weak mental and they attack the weakest all the time. So we need you all to meditate, 
get rid of the negative thoughts. We need y'all to, to open your eyes, you know. I constantly tell y'all, you know, um, the movie script with DMX and Drag On. And I always use this quote. Their eyes are closed shut. It doesn't mean that your eyes are literally closed. Meaning, the lids are down. It just means that you are woke and can't see. So it's time that your eyes open up and see what's going on around y'all. Do you want to live a long, productive life? Or do you want to live a painful, heartfelt life? You choose. It's a choice. It's a choice. You know, you got people sometimes playing both sides. That's how you know when they're playing both sides, they don't want those two sides to. Then they're going to see the reality of you playing victim. They're going to see the reality of the whole time is you. Because you're playing the role of a demon. The demon has came through, put stuff in your head. Got her. Got him. Gone. I'll come back and see what's going on later. See how much they destroyed and what they've done. How much progress they've made. It's that easy. Yeah, it's easy to go steal. It's easy to self-medicate and use drugs. It's easy for a woman to lay on her back and prostitute and tear down her temple. All those things are easy. But it also destroys Have anyone you know been through those things? And they're not battling something very negative every single day of their life. Every single day. Whether it might be an illness. Illnesses is, is the devil's work. It can be the loss of a loved one. It can be you you never you can't get a job. It could be a million and one things. Or I'm going to put it like this. You can't get a job and God has not provided any way for you to survive. See, like myself, I can't get a job, but God still provides. And I don't have to sell my soul to get it. God aligns things. When something is looking crazy... He start working on something else. Because he told me, you would never be hungry. I've taken you down all the channels that you need to know that you would never be hungry. 
And he has. You set yourself up for the process. That's just the way it works. But if you wasn't taught that, of course, it seems very difficult. It seems very hard. So you feel like you got to take advantage of people. You feel like you got to steal. You got to rob. You got to hurt. Oh, to make your life better, you got to uh, take advantage of others. Because you were dealt a bad hand. Instead of embracing the love and growing together. That's what's wrong with the world today. They always want what someone else has. But if you want what I have, then you got to be godly like I am. I go outside every day with a five dollar outfit on. My shirt was two dollars. My pants was, oh, I'm sorry, my pants was four ninety nine. But it doesn't change who I am as a person. It doesn't change. My energy is still the same. And people draw to me because for that moment, they want good energy. Yesterday, I'm going to tell you this last story and then I got to get off this podcast. Yesterday, I was at a store and This girl told her supervisor, oh, my God, this woman is on the phone, and she's crazy. So he said, well, what happened? So he was telling the story, whatever the case may be. And I looked at the supervisor, and I looked at the employee. So I broke it down to her. I said, well, first and foremost, um, some of these things we have no control over. This is why she was probably acting like that. You don't know what she was going through on her end. It's not that she's crazy. It's things that she can't control and being frozen behind when God has given her a way of life. The demons have stepped in. Okay, but I didn't explain it to her like that. I just said, I, I broke it down. Um, well, you don't know these people's names and you don't know. I can tell you how the actual story. What happened was the woman had ordered something and um, it wasn't right and she wanted a refund. However, they didn't want to give her back the cash. They wanted to um, put it back on her card, which we know that's what the stores do now. And they, they have that right. However, our banks decided they want to take sometime five to ten business days before you get your money back. Now, how about if that was your last money and you're trying to feed your family or whatever you're trying to do? And the bank gets to hold on to your money. For five to seven days that you worked for, that you sweat in tears, that you put in, and only God knows what else. You have to wait for it. <laughs> this is why we got away from using banks. So, a lot of these companies decided that they wanted to help the banks with all of these policies so the banks won't go away. See, that is the old crew. That's the old people. This is the new millennium. We don't play those games about our money because it will lead us to killing. And they know that. Because how am I supposed to feed my kids? How am I supposed to feed myself? Now I got to go out here and commit a crime because you decide you want to hold on to my money 
because I chose that I didn't want something. So I got to take whatever these people give me and be happy. But yet and still, I'm the one that walked out there and worked for this. Got to make it make sense, people. So in other words, when I was done talking to her, I had to let her know. So what makes her crazy for that? She's right. Granted, she might be taking it out on you. And I tell people all the time, I know it's not you. But the process is just ignorant. And this is the company you work for. So we even got to choose the companies that we work for. Are they with God or are they a demonic company? Then you got some companies that want to play both sides. Amazon is one of those companies. They want to play both sides. And they wonder why so much negative come at them. You can't play both sides. You can't be a demon today and godly tomorrow. You can't portray to try to be a, a be godly and then you're a demon tomorrow. You can't do that. So with that being said, you know, I had to let her know. Who gives you the right to judge that woman? You don't know what she's going through. You don't know what she's been through. And this was a young kid. This was, this this girl couldn't have been no more than 19, 20. Who taught you that? Your parents? Your friends? That's a big part of customer service. It's understanding the customer. And if you can't understand the customer, it's going to call the customer crazy because they're going through something then you're not fit to be in, in, in a job that, where you have to deal with customers. So you got to choose your words wisely, people. You know. Now, if I was a supervisor, I wouldn't have fired her. But um, I would have told her exactly what I told her. Even though I wasn't a supervisor, I still told her. And her supervisor let me tell her because he just was looking confused like... Oh, my God, I don't know what to do about this. I got my employees saying she's erratic because she thinks the customer's crazy. And then the customer's going crazy. And I got to figure this out real fast. He got a job to do. So his mind was going in circles. I saw it in his face, all in his eyes. Everything is in the eyes. And he's like, oh, my God, how am I going to deal with this? And it's crazy because me and him got out the car at the same time. We went in the store together. He held the door for me. He, he told me, he asked me how I was doing. I said, okay, good. It was like, I knew he needed, he needed me. Or he knew he needed me. And I didn't even know this man. But he knew the energy was right. He knew it was right. I was taking a few minutes to get out the car and he was walking slow. He knew the energy was right from the moment that he spoke to me. And he knew I was going to need him. If not for the customer, at least for the employees, so they could try to understand what customer service is about. And he maybe he just didn't know how to explain it. It's part of understanding the people. And it's the same way with God. Understanding why these people are doing what they're doing. And God sends his, I don't know if you want to call them Christian warriors or just warriors, period, out there to say, hey, what's going on? Uh, I'm hungry. Oh, got you. Come on, let's go eat. But what was you about to do? Hmm, I don't know. I'm about to go... I'm getting in trouble because I'm hungry. Oh, you ain't got to do that no more. Come on over here. So you see how 
Sometimes God will send us to do the work, but not to be taken advantage of. And see, some people have the tendency to take advantage of those that they know God has sent. And God gets tired of watching his people be tormented and tortured and not being helped because he sent them in to determine who needs to be helped. On my behalf, the ancestors is about to move. So I got to fall back and continue on with my task and just wait to hear what the ancestors has, has done. This is Jacqueline Richardson. It's JJ Diamond, Jackie Deja, whatever y'all call me. I'll talk to y'all soon. Remember, don't let them voices in your head. <laughs> Destroy your mental. Pray about it. Talk to God. Let's see it get rid of it fast. Y'all have a good day.